here at the Michigan stand uh, with three lovely ladies who are going to introduce themselves. Please. Hi, I'm Marilyn from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hi, Marilyn from Kalamazoo. And I'm Gloria from Flint, Michigan. Hi, Gloria. Mary Liz Ducharme from the Best Western Greenfield Inn in Allen Park, Michigan. Dearborn. Thank you. Now, tell me about what is new and different about Michigan. I went to school there, so I know a little bit. But I, I've lost touch of what would be the attraction now for, let's start with, let's say, American tourists. American tourists. Or you specialize Autom in international. <laughs> we want them all. Okay. <laughs> uh, automotive heritage. Yeah. Um, our great golf. Okay. Motown. Motown. Is that still a draw? Yes, Absolutely. it is. Yes, it is. We can tell you about Detroit. Absolutely. Now, let's, let's just... Stick to Motown for a moment. Now, I know you have the Motown Museum. museum. Mm -hmm. huh? What's there? What's what, what? what's in the museum? Yeah, what's the attraction to Motown Museum? Well, I mean, you can actually be in Studio A where they recorded so many of the hits through Motown with Barry Gordy. I mean, that's the actual studio is there. You can... Um, do your own video while you're there. There's a gift shop. Um, there's a lot of music playing, obviously, when you're there. It's, uh, it's Hitsville, USA. I mean, people know it, and that it's a huge draw for especially international travelers. Uh, Henry Ford Museum, right? Is that what it's called? The Henry the Ford. Henry Ford. The Henry Ford Museum. And that, that what, what's there? What do they have there? Well, obviously, it's the history of Ford Motor Company, as well as uh, the bus that uh, Rosa, Parks. Rosa Parks rode on is in the Henry Ford Museum. The um, limousine that Kennedy rode in is at the Henry Ford Museum. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of history there at the Henry Ford, and Greenfield Village is there, an 1800s village that's uh, got a baseball team from way back then. I mean, it's very, very interesting. The, the visitor to Michigan is only going to, I mean, some of them might go visit these places in Detroit, right? Uh, where, in terms of the, the numbers uh, of visit, where do they go? Where do they Mackinac go? Island. Mackinac Island is one of the largest tourist attractions in Michigan. It's an island uh, in northern Michigan that you have to take a boat to from the mainland, and uh, there are no cars on the island. It's horse and buggy, it's bicycles, uh, they make fudge on the islands, it's... Uh, it's really a fun place to go vacation. And that would draw how many people a year? you have any idea? I don't know the numbers, but it is Michigan's largest tourist attraction. And it draws people from Michigan. Now, does it draw from people overseas as well? Oh, yes, oh, yes it does. Yes. yes. Tell yes. me, tell, uh, which, which countries? What, and what is the attraction? Nature or what? No, it's the nostalgia. Um, nostalgia? Yes, it's... it's Nostalgia of what? Like the Grand Hotel. Okay. Um, it, it was featured in a movie. Somewhere in time. Somewhere in time. Yes. Um, and it's the, the whole island, it takes you back in time. Huh. And people know about this. I mean, I didn't. Yes, yes. yes. Mackinac Island is very popular. Now, uh, I, uh, on Lake Michigan side, uh, I know when I went to school in Michigan, we used to go there. In the summer, it's just... Right. The beaches are just vacation. Right. Does that a attract visitors from other states or, yes. uh, or other countries? Absolutely. We have the largest coastline. We have more coastline than California, and it's all freshwater. Mm -hmm. right. So it's all, you know, the Traverse City area, and the whole western coast as well as the eastern coast. Very popular with vacation. So people will come there and, and stay for a few days just for the beach yes. around the lake. Yep. Absolutely. One of the few areas that you can actually ride something on the, the dunes, the sand dunes. Now, um, I went to Ann Arbor, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Uh -huh. Of course, you have M. Go blue. <laughs> Is that, has that become a tourist attraction? I don't believe the university is. The no. City? no, 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 I don't think the so. Stadium. When the games are there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they do, uh, they do a pretty good business in Ann Arbor. There's an awful lot of things there um, other than U of M. Um, they have great, uh, a lot of great dining there and their uh, museums and things. So there's an awful lot to draw people there other than just U of M, but that probably is one of the largest draws. Um, there are some exhibits there. Um, some artists has done some work 
there's a really large art community there, a lot of music, a lot of music in Ann Arbor. So. And to what extent do you cooperate with your neighboring states in terms of suggested itineraries for visitors and such? So much we of that? are part of the Great Lakes of North America, which is an organization that partners with all of us in the Great Lakes, especially to go after international. Um, we are all partners, and we all jointly try and put packages together and market to the international visitor. In terms of arrivals at Detroit Metro, that's a, that's a pretty... Uh, how, how, how many flights there, let's say, international flights, does that have, roughly? Your guess. I couldn't, 15, I couldn't. I'd say 15. There's a yeah. list that we have here, but... Um, yeah, and they're just opening it up to, to new markets where um, from Brussels, there's going to be a nonstop from Brussels and from Japan. So it's, the market's opening to Detroit. I mean, there's a lot more international flights coming right into, you know, direct flights into Detroit, which is very good for all of us. <laughs> and is that a considerable growth, let's say, to five, ten years ago? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Northwest has bit, built a brand new terminal in Detroit, uh, which is, you know, part of the reason for more growth mm. in that area and more international flights coming in.